Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey kids, it's Dana. Let's do a tarot card reading for Taurus. I know I just put one out for Taurus just a couple of days ago, but that was totally spontaneous, something special for my YouTube anniversary. So this is like the real intentional Taurus reading, okay? This one is intended. So let's do a reading for Taurus. Let's see what these cards have to say for Taurus. Give me a second to channel and I will lay out the cards. We'll talk about them and we'll sew together a story, all right? I'm probably going to confuse you for a good second, but just hang with me and I will sew it together, okay? All right, let's do it. Here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What does the particular Taurus that you need to connect with need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what is it that this Taurus needs to know? Spirit, what's coming towards the Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull ooh, right there, straight from the top. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Oops, my bad. You guys see this on the camera there? All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Ten of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck, followed by the Queen of Cups, the Devil in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Swords, and death. Fantastic. That's going to make hella sense to us in just a little while. Oops. <laughs> First card out. Whoo, holy schmoly, Taurus. The tower. Wow. All right, the tower. To the emperor. All righty. The chariot. Three majors in a row. To the nine of cups. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction. And the two of wands in reverse. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. The ace of pentacles. Some kind of new opportunity. The king of wands. We'll see. Could be job, could be relationship, could be family, could be anything, okay? The Hierophant in the center of the reading. Uh, commitments, obligations, belief systems, traditions, ties. The King of Swords, some kind of truth. The Ace of Wands in reverse. All right, let's scooch all this up so we can get this third row in here. The Lovers in reverse. Temperance in reverse. The Three of Swords the Five of Wands, the High Priestess in reverse, the Five of Swords in reverse, and the Princess of Cups to the Five of Pentacles and Judgment. Let's see what else has come in here. All right, we'll take them all up to the World card because that's the cycle closure. Okay, fantastic. We're going to clarify with the old school Rider weight because they're just so simplistic that they are art. All right, I just lost my cards there. Okay. So the tower, first card out, uh, some kind of a big, huge change, some kind of, some kind of unexpected change. Tell me about this tower right here. I'm not feeling bad vibes off the tower. I'm just feeling unexpected change. So what is this tower here for Taurus? The page of wands. Look at that. Some kind of uh, message, some kind of self-exploration, perhaps. All right. All right. The emperor. What's this about right here? What's this about right here? What is the emperor about right here? Is this about 
um, an authority figure? Is this about Taurus taking control? Is this about, I don't see the Empress here anywhere. So what, what is this Emperor about? The Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of opportunity, some kind of new opportunity. Perhaps you taking control of yourself, getting a handle on yourself is going to result in some kind of new beginning. Very interesting. Huh. Okay. To the chariot. The chariot. Forward momentum. The Seven of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Forward momentum. Illusion. Confusion. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which was on the bottom of the which was on the bottom of the deck, remember? Okay. Uh, is causing a loss. Okay, tell me about this loss, the Seven of Pentacles. You need to regroup and rethink some things. Okay, to the Nine of Cups. Regroup and rethink some things. Eight of Pentacles in reverse because something ain't working out for you. Queen of Wands in reverse. It's sucking the life out of you. To the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? A few things you need to know about me before we get started, okay? I have a propensity to be inappropriate, so I'll probably swear I might even be irreverent, and I will most likely smoke my vape on camera. So if any of that bothers you, you need to move on because the neighborhood is too rough. So what's going on here, Taurus? What's happening? So the tower, there is a sudden change that is going to happen in your life, okay? Sudden change, just, just like boom, out of nowhere, boom, change, okay? And you know, us Tauruses don't like change like that, right? I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. And if the change isn't my idea, I don't like sudden change, okay? So there's a sudden change coming for someone out there, all right? I asked what the root of the tower was, and it's the... Oh, I forget that you guys are watching in this camera. I'm sorry. So the tower, right? What the root of it is, it's the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient, independent. It talks about someone who has put in a lot of work to be able to stand in their power. Okay, to stand in their power. A great deal of security in this card. Sudden change. The root of the sudden change is some kind of security. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The Page of Wands initially clarified the tower. This Page of Wands is about two things. It's about the message that's coming to you that is the sudden change. And it's also about the Taurus exploring, discovering what it is that they need to understand in order to process and cope with this change. Okay? All right. Okay. Bear with me. Okay? To cope and process with that change. Okay? I asked, I know that because I asked what the Page of Wands is here. I said, is this Taurus's enthusiasm or is this a message? And the Five of Wands, it's both, right? Because in this message of change, Taurus, need, Taurus is going to be conflicted because they need to dig a little bit deeper and see something. Okay? All right. This conflict you resisting this change or you um, having conflict with this change, star in reverse. Um, it's, it's not in your path or your purpose, okay? It's not the way that you need to go. What is that? The resistance to this change because maybe it's not your idea, okay? To the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is about being sharp, being truthful, owning yourself, owning your shit, owning your business, and getting to the bottom of something. And so what this is saying is that Taurus needs to get to the bottom of something because there is an opportunity, a sudden change opportunity that is going to put you in a position of personal power somehow, okay? It's going to put you in a position of personal power, okay? Okay. 
But the Taurus is perhaps resistant to this change because it wasn't the Taurus's idea. And they are... Um, They're having a propensity to push back on the whole thing. And these cards are saying you need to get your mind in the game and deal with what it is that makes you want to push back against this because it's a really good opportunity. The Emperor, twofold message there in the Emperor. The Emperor is talking about, from a spiritual perspective, you as the Taurus getting control of yourself, getting control of yourself. And it's specifically the emperor being lesson four because the emperor comes behind the empress, which comes behind the high priestess, which comes behind the magician, right? The first four most important lessons of living a successful spiritual life, which equals a successful human life, is number one, the alchemist. What you think about comes about. And that's just the way that it is. What you think about comes about. What ruminates in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. Hold on. That's my reminder that I have to go do a reading in a second. What you think about comes about, okay? Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. Straight up, okay? Lesson three is the empress. She creates everything that she wants in her life because she follows the direction of her soul. She manifests her mind according to her intuition, knowing that her intuition is always leading her in the direction of her best and highest good. And she just, boom, just creates, right? The emperor comes behind the empress being lesson four, and he executes in his real world what it is the empress creates in her internal world. And for you, Taurus, this is you s taking everything that you have worked on and learned up to this point about life, about spirituality, and actually applying it to your life. Okay? Okay? Ace of Pentacles. This new action of yours leads you to some kind of soil where you can plant your seeds and those seeds have the potential to create prosperity in your life. Mm -hmm. Five of swords in reverse. But you have to let go of some kind of a white knuckle grip on some kind of mentality that you have. What's that mentality? Well, it is whatever makes you feel conflicted when this offer comes in. That's the mentality that they're asking you to let go of. Okay? I'll explain. As far as from the superficial perspective, this emperor right here represents the person that's bringing you an offer. The Ace of Pentacles, that's the offer, okay? And the Five of Swords in reverse. Loosen this mindset that you have so you can be receptive to this offer, okay? The Chariot, putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to get you to where you need to go because the universe is trying to usher you in that direction, okay? Okay, I've said that like 50 times, sorry, okay? All right, how about that? I, okay, so the Chariot, right? Taking you where you need to go. The Eight of Wands in reverse, but it's, it's, having a hard time doing it because you are resisting some kind of change. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse is illusion, delusion, not thinking straight, to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, not thinking straight, not feeling solid, okay? Um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse talks about uh, loss, financial loss, loss in the sense of well-being, loss in foundation, hence this, maybe this tower over here, to the seven of pentacles. It's time to take a step back, reevaluate, and examine what you're doing. To the eight of pentacles in reverse, because it's not working. 
unmet expectations in your life. The Queen of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. Okay? Sudden change, big decisions, good decisions. The Chariot, let's go. Where is it taking you? The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. This offer that's coming into you is trying to take you to the desires of your soul. Whatever that is for you, the opportunity that's coming in is trying to take you in the direction of your best and highest good. But again, with the two of wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, fear of the future, the five of wands right here talking about um, conflict. It's about disagreements. It's about obstacles, your own personal obstacles, your own disagreement with, the, with this change to the two of pentacles in reverse um and it this is about an imbalance it's about not prioritizing it's about feeling imbalanced in your sense of well-being or imbalanced in your financial situation back to the chariot okay eight of wands slowing things down with what the seven of cups some kind of illusion that the thought process that you're holding on to is causing you to feel okay it's about being disillusioned what are you disillusioned by this mentality that you're holding on to that is resisting this change what is that mentality well it's the ten of pentacles in reverse the ten of pentacles in reverse talks about um not having a foundation to build upon what does that mean to everything? Well, it means what it's basically saying to you is, how's it going so far, Taurus? How's it going so far? Whatever you're trying to do in your life, how is that going so far? Seven of Pentacles, because you need to have, you need to take a step back, reevaluate and examine your motivations for A, not wanting to engage in this whole thing, and B, why you think that, You're better off the way that you are. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations. Unmet expectations. Just straight up unmet expectations. Something's not working out. And the Queen of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. So this is all you, Taurus. This is all, these cards are basically saying, how's it going for you right now? There's an offer coming in. You have some kind of mindset that is, that is absolutely resistant to this sudden change that's going to happen. And this sudden change that's happening is actually in your best interest. And these cards are saying, let go of this mentality. You're delusioned by this mentality. You are having, experiencing a lack of success right now. So let go of this mindset and roll with this whole change that's happening right here to the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity. The, the King of Wands is Taurus succeeding. It is. The fire energy represents something passionate, okay? The Ace of Pentacles represents a new opportunity to grow some kind of prosperity, okay? Um, the King of Wands is about the pursuit of achievement and success. The pursuit of achievement and success involving the Taurus, this is the opportunity to do that, the Four of Wands. And it is some kind of long-term committed opportunity that brings a great deal of security, safety, and peace to the inner being into your life. Hierophant in the center of your reading. Commitments, contracts, obligations, ties, education, family, tradition. Uh, put it where it goes for you. But it is about a belief system. And it's something that you or it is absolutely committed to. And it's in the center of your reading. This whole reading revolves around commitment and Taurus not wanting to commit to something because it's happening quickly to the Ace of Swords. Aha moment, seeing some truth, having some understanding about the situation. To the Fool in reverse, foolishness, naive, reckless, 
to the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Fool in reverse, please. Foolishness, recklessness, the Ace of Swords. Again, seeing some kind of clarity. All right. Commitment in the center of your reading, followed by the King of Swords, right? King of Swords is drop dead, serious decision, commitment. And that's what this offer, this is an offer of some kind of commitment to you. Big time commitment, okay? Hierophant to the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords talking about some absolute truth, some absolute clarity, an aha, seeing things moment. What's that? Well, the Fool in Reverse, that your current thought pattern is foolishness, that your th current thought pattern is a waste of where it is you're supposed to be going. Loosen up that mind and go with the flow of this big, huge change that's going to take place in your life. Ace of Swords again. See it for what it is to the Two of Wands because it's meant to take you into your future. The King of Swords, absolute drop-dead decisions to the Ace of Wands in reverse. Your resistance to this is a problem. What's the problem? The world in reverse. It's a blockage to a cycle closure. What's the cycle closure? Well, up here, these cards say you're really not doing it very well at the moment. You're really just not doing it very well. Maybe you're mismanaging your money. Um, I don't know, but you're not doing it very well and you need to get a hold of yourself. You need to execute on the outside of your life what it is that you believe on the inside of your life as far as spirituality goes. You know, I come across that a lot in my career. I read cards on the daily basis, you know, all the time. It's my job. And for people of any sign. <laughs> and I come across this a lot. A lot of people have spirituality all locked in up here, right? They understand it. They know it. They understand manifestation. They understand their intuition. They understand that there's a soul journey. They understand all of this. But what they don't do is actually execute it in their life. And this is a part of that, right? If the signs and synchronicities around you are showing you that this is the direction that you should go, but you're still resisting it because it wasn't your idea or on your terms, you're being foolish with this opportunity. See this opportunity for the golden opportunity that it is and commit to it and commit to it. Mm -hmm. The world in reverse because things need to get rolling. Shit needs to get going, Taurus, and you're all locked down and this is the way that I believe and this is the only way that I believe and if it's not my idea, it's not going to happen. Let that go. That is not productive for any aspect of your life. It's a blockage. A lack of critical self-analysis. To the strength card in reverse. Strength is a weakness, and it's telling you that this is a weakness in your life. This is a problem for you in your life. So this is a problem in your life. It's a weakness, okay? The Lovers in Reverse talks about misaligned values, misaligned relationships. The King of Swords talks about some God's honest truth. Um, again, second time that it's here, some God's honest truth, some absolute seeing absolute clearly of a situation. To the Four of Wands in reverse and the Hierophant, that this opportunity is going to change some kind of instability in your life into some kind of solid commitment. Wow. Temperance in reverse. Tell me about this. Tell me one about temperance in reverse, please. Tell me one about temperance in reverse. Judgment in reverse. <laughs> Your self-doubt, which has something to do with this mindset that you're holding on to, okay? Your self-doubt is going to cause you to make some kind of bad decision. Don't make a bad decision because you are disgruntled somehow on the inside with temperance in reverse. Don't make a bad decision because of some kind of self-doubt. Where's the self-doubt come from? Well, the self-doubt, I believe, is the mindset. Where does it come from? Well, things are happening so quickly that Taurus doesn't have a handle on things just yet.
and that's where the kickback and the resistance is coming from because Taurus doesn't have a handle on things yet. So they're kind of freaking out when this whole situation happens, but it is the universe, boom, everything is coming together exactly at the right time, exactly when it's supposed to be there. And they're counting on you to let go of some white knuckle grip on some kind of mindset about self-doubt because it wasn't your idea or it wasn't planned or it's a surprise of some sort, okay? Loosen up, see the universe rolling. It's rolling out in front of you. Loosen up and go with it go with it. Follow your guts, follow your intuition, and go with it because it's in your best interest. Okay? Three of Swords. Grief, sorrow, pain. Let's talk about grief. Okay? Grief in the mind. That's the issue. Why do you have grief in the mind? Look at that. Four of Cups in reverse because you're stubborn. Stubborn in your emotions. Stubborn in your emotions because it's not something that you are choosing to do. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and you're stuck. What are you stuck in? The Five of Wands, conflict. You're stuck in this conflicted state. Why? The High Priestess in reverse. Because you're not following your intuition. If when this happens or if this is happening, if you will take a step back instead of panicking and freaking out and going, oh my God, my whole everything is changing right now and I don't like this because it's not my idea. I did not plan for this. I did not account for this in my calendar. I don't have time for this. This is crazy. Instead of that, <laughs> instead of that, take a step back and say, what are my guts telling me about this? Deep breath. <sighs> Step back and say, what are my guts saying about this? Spirit, source, God, Muhammad, Allah, Buddha, and whatever your thing is, okay? Take a step back and pray and ask, what is this about? How does this affect my soul journey? What am I supposed to be understanding about this situation? Because this high priestess in reverse says you're not doing that, but you need to do that. Look, eight of swords in reverse. To have a new perspective in your mind, a new perspective, six of wands, so you can overcome the battle. The battle of what? Of this weakness right here. Of, of the weakness that is the blockage with the world in reverse. Overcome this battle and you will have victory, progress, and success. The battle of what? Well, yourself, really. I mean, if we want to, we can say this Queen of Wands in reverse right here is about your flesh mentality, your mind, your human understanding of the way that things should go. I want it the way that I want it, and that's the way that I want it to be. Could be. To the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups says that this is an opportunity for some kind of new emotional growth, whether it be new love, um, whether it be um, the love for a situation, a circumstance, an object, or a thing. Um, this opportunity is going to bring it to you. Look at that, the Three of Cups. Maybe this is love for some people, but the Three of Cups is also about community and friendship. Maybe a friend's going to give you a hookup. Maybe a friend's going to give you a hookup and your mindset is, no, I'm not taking nothing from no one. I'm going to do it by myself. Look, four of cups in reverse. <laughs> Emotional stubbornness. No, I'm not taking anything from anyone. I'm going to do it myself. I don't want your money. I don't want your advice. I don't want your participation. I don't want your offer because I can do it myself. Interesting. To the Knight of Wands. Mm -mm. Take some inspired action. A huge ginormous opportunity is coming towards you. Look at that. The emperor in reverse. This is someone that's out of control. This is someone that is not applying their spirituality to their life. This is someone who is out of control of themselves and only interested in what it is that they can control. And the king of swords. No, no, not, not the way, not the path, not the purpose, not the way. Look at this. Five of Swords in reverse. Loosen up that mind. Princess of Cups, because this offer is good for you. 
the five of pentacles, all of your insecurities, the three of pentacles about getting into this whole thing, ten of wands, is 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 your burden and struggle. What's the burden and struggle? The battle that you need to overcome with the six of wands. What's the burden and the struggle? The self-doubt because you're not in control right now. What's the burden and the struggle? Not seeing clearly that this is a really good opportunity because you're, you're dead set on something. Judgment. Make a good decision. Make a conscious cognitive decision. Truth. Judgment is about truth. Make a good decision to justice because it's in your best interest. It's in your best interest. It's in your best highest good. And it's accountability for your journey. Look at that to the emperor in the upright. The emperor is here three times. It is the card of Aries. I just want to throw that out there if that means anything to anyone. Okay. And this is Libra right here with justice. Um, the emperor. Okay. Judgment, justice, the emperor um, to the high priestess. Okay. Use your intuition apply your spirituality to your life so you can be accountable. And if you will use your good judgment and tap into your intuition, okay, um, it is going to show, it is going to lead you and show you the direction of your best and highest good. Wow. Follow your intuition, apply your spirituality. It's in your best interest to make a decision to do this. It's crazy, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse, but there's Taurus with all their anxiety. Three of Wands because they can't see the forest through the trees. Don't have any foresight, can't see what's coming. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. All they're worried about is what's happening right now in their sense of security. The Prince of Cups, uh, the message, an offer, Ten of Wands in reverse, let go of the heavy burden that you are trudging around with in this mentality of yours to the world and apply some critical self-analysis to see why it is that you insist on refusing to cooperate in this situation. Death, bring it all to an end once and for all. Queen of Swords, be sharp in your mind, be, be, be concrete in your decisions. It's all in the mind. This whole reading is in the mind here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about financial setbacks, financial instability. What you are investing in is not going to bring you a return. Seven of Cups in reverse, what is that? Your emotionally stubborn state of being is a bad investment. The devil in reverse. Cut loose of this toxic mindset in your life. Release your limiting beliefs and step into it. The queen of cups, pull yourself together. Be calm, cool, collected in your emotions. Take a step back. Be honest and fair with yourself and your stubborn self. Be honest and fair with yourself. Know that you know that you know that your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, guiding you in the direction of your best and highest good. Stop panicking and seek out your intuition because it will explain everything to you, glue the pieces together and help you to understand how to move forward in your best and highest good. Ten of Pentacles in reverse because, I don't know, maybe it can't get any worse. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is, uh, I'm going to ask, why contemplate? Let's just ask. Ten of Pentacles, tell me about this. What is this exactly? What is this exactly? Uh-huh, look, stuck in the past to the Six of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mentality. What's this futile mentality? Well, this mentality where you don't want something to change is, is unrealistic because maybe it once was, but it's not anymore. It's unrealistic for you to stay stuck to it, Page of Pentacles, because there is an opportunity coming towards you for you to manifest some good stuff in your life, Taurus. Good stuff in your life. Hope this helped you. Namaste.